Okay, good luck. Today we're gonna continue chapter lesson eight, which was talking about the multiplying polynomials. We talked about how to multiply two monomials, how to multiply the monomial with final with the polynomial by distributive property, and we talked about the methods of multiplying polynomials that we have four methods. The first one is the distributive. If I have two binomials, I want to multiply them. The second one, by the following method, first, outer, inner, and last. The third one, with a rectangle method, that I make a rectangle in order to multiply. And the last method, by an multiplying polynomials in vertical method, like multiplying the whole numbers. Now, we said that in order to multiply the uh, two polynomials, one of the, of the methods is by the distributive property. Like we said, we will distribute x on x plus 2 and 3 on x plus 2. Then we will multiply. The second way, we say that it was the FOIL way, where f is for the first terms, which is these two x's. O is for the outer, like here you have two brackets, the one to the right and the one to the left, that they are far from each other, they are the outer terms. And the terms, they are left, you can say, or next to each other, they are the inner terms, and the one that is the last term in each bracket, we call it the last terms. This was the FOIL terms. Now, here we have the three examples, 3A, 3B, and 3C. We solved yesterday 3A, we solve now 3B. In 3B here, we have x minus 3 squared. Now, who can remind me x minus 3 squared? It is a product of what? Yesterday we said if it is 4 squared, 4 times 4. x squared, x times x. What about x minus 3 squared? x minus 3 squared. It's x minus 3 times x minus 3. It will be... Uh, now then, let's use the FOIL method. First, outer. Inner, last. Now, Sir Sabine, can you tell me where are the, the two first terms? The first terms, where are they? Um, X and 3. The first methods, I mean like the first term is the first variable in the first bracket and the first term in the second bracket. X and, so, X. X, and X. Exactly. Where is the outer now? Uh, three and three. Now, see, the outer is the two terms that they I, are from, from, each, uh, from each other. What? From each other? Yes, they are far from each other. One to the left and one to the right. X and three. Exactly, X. And three and negative three. So you multiply here x and negative three, which is negative three x here, which is x squared. Now, where is the inner now? The inner that they are live or they are next to each other. Where are the two terms they are lived to, uh, next to each other? The x and negative three. Negative x3 and x, thank you. Which is negative 3x. And where are the last terms? The last The last term? Yes. Three, uh, negative three and negative three. Bravo. The last term, the last term in the first bracket and the last term in the second bracket, which is negative three and negative three. And negative three times negative three is positive nine. Then after that now, 
I will bring this and I combine them together. X squared minus 3x minus 3x plus 9. X squared minus. Look at these two terms now. Are they like terms? Are they have the same variable with the same power? Which one? Yes. Negative. Yes, X. yes, they yes. have the same power. You will put them as negative 6x. You will add them together. So x squared 9 is 6x plus 9. Is it clear? Yes, it's easy. Okay. Do you have any question? Do you have any question? No, easy. Okay. Did we solve this example yesterday? I think no. Okay. Let's go now to 3C. Here. In 3C, what do you want to use? The distributive way or the foil way? Usually for mechanical. So, the foil of the distributive method. Bisan? Why is it pain? Bisan? Bisan? Yes, teacher. Yes, Bisan. And Felicity, yes. which method do you prefer to use? The distributive or the foil method? Uh, uh, just, I don't know. Distributive. Distributive. Okay. How will distribute them? Um, to a multiply by a plus four b squared. Bravo. And and b squared multiplied yes. by a. Negative b squared multiplied by a plus 4 b squared. Bravo. Then, how will you distribute them now? Uh, first, we will multiply 2a with a. Which is? Um, two a squared. Bravo. And then 2a with? Uh, with 4b squared. So 2 times 4? 8. 8. And a times b squared? Um, a b squared. Or Bravo. A b squared. Then, continue, please. Um, negative b squared times a. Negative a b squared, bravo. And for four b four b to the power of four. Bravo. What about the sign? Is it positive or negative? Um negative. Bravo, negative. Now, 2a squared, 4b to the power of 4. Now look at 8ab squared and minus ab squared. Are they like terms? And if they are, how do you combine them? Uh, yes, they are like terms. How it will be after you combine them together? It will be... Uh... The uh, seven seven a b no. squared seven a b squared. Thank you so much. Okay. Now I'll give you one minute in order to write. Then we're gonna talk about the rectangle, or we're gonna continue the rectangle. You can write now. I'm 
Did you finish now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, the third method, as we said yesterday, it was a rectangle method. We have to make a rectangle and we're going to put each term as width and the other terms as the length. Did we solve this uh, A? Um, I don't think. I don't think. Oh, let's do it. So here, a rectangle method. You will make a rectangle. Like this. Since here you have three terms, so you cut it into three terms. X squared negative 5x and positive 4. The second one, we have two terms, x and 2. Then, you will find the area of each rectangle. So like me, like here, you will multiply the width times the length. So x squared times x will be x and you will add the three. force of 3. Bravo. The second one, here, we have negative 5x and x. The length of this rectangle here is x. So you multiply negative 5x with x, which is negative 5, x to the power of what? One and one, x Three. to the power of two. So negative 5x squared. No, we will add the two and the one, it will be three. Which two? No, see, you will add, multiply negative five X with X. Uh huh, I just. The first one, you multiply X squared with X. Now negative five X with X, which is negative five X squared. Now the third one, we multiply positive four with X. Positive four times X. Positive, positive four, four times x. x. Positive four, uh, five. No, you don't add them. You have to multiply them. Ah, oh, four, four, yes. Now, x squared. To, now, look at the second terms now. We have x squared and times two. Which will be what? X squared times two uh, is two. Two, two x. X, uh, x squared. X squared. Bravo. Now, two times negative five x. Negative ten x. Bravo. Negative ten x. Now, four times two. Eight. Um, eight. eight. Then after that, I will rewrite them together. Let's see how. I will write x cubic minus 5x squared plus 4x. 2x squared minus 10x plus 8. Then I will try now to combine each like terms together. Now, x cubic, is there any okay. term? Has a cubic uh, power here? No. 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 So you keep it now. Uh, uh, now, sorry, as x cubic. Now, mm -hmm. negative five x squared. Is there um, any term has yes. a power of two? Negative yes. two x. Two x squared. Ah, oh, so two, one the same power. Two x squared. So, no. so negative 
negative five plus two. Seven. Wait, negative seven. Negative seven. Negative it. No. Negative. No. You, you, well, have, difference it, yes. you have to subtract. Mm -hmm. Negative yes, three yes. x squared. Now then, four x. Is there any term look like four x with the same variable? Negative same power? Negative ten uh, x. Four x. Bravo. Four negative ten x. Now four minus ten. Six. Six. Negative Sorry, six. Negative, negative six. six. X plus eight. So this would be the product of X plus two times mm -hmm. X squared minus five X plus four. Take one minute to write, then we'll continue. Now, 3x minus 4 times negative 2x cube x plus 5x minus 6. Here we have to do the same. You will make a table. Yes. Sorry. Teacher. Negative. Yes. Teacher, here we can use the other methods than the rectangle. Yes. Can use any of them, but the foil here it's what it means it's work because the foil you multiply binomial with binomial. And I mean, like if you want to use this method, it can work too. Yes, okay. Okay, so if you have two uh, two binomials, binomials like two terms, I mean. You can use the distributive or the foil method. If you have polynomial, polynomial, it means or trinomial, we can say more than two terms. With two terms or with the three terms, you, it's better for you to use the rectangle method or the vertical method. So here we have negative two x cubic and 5x and negative 6 and 3x and negative 4 and over. Now then, negative 2x cubic times 3x, Rima. Rima? Yes, teacher. Yes, Rima. Negative 2x cubic times 3x, how it will be? Um, we multiply three with negative two, which is negative six. Yeah. Okay. Uh, X uh, to the power of four. To the power of four, thank you. Then five X with a three X. Well, it will be 15 X squared. 15 X squared, bravo. Negative six with three X. Uh, 
Uh, negative 18x. Negative 18x. Thank you. I'm Majud. Yes, teacher. Yes, Jude. Here, you have to multiply negative 2x cubic with negative 4. Positive 8x to the power of 3. Bravo. Positive 8x to the power of 3. Then what do you have to multiply? Negative 4 with positive 5x. Bravo, Jess. Zero. Get a four times five. Zero. Zero x. Why? You get a four times five. One. No, you don't add them. Multiply them. You don't add them. You have to multiply them. How did you multiply here? She said negative two times negative four, you get negative uh, positive eight. Here is the same. Positive five times negative four. It's negative 20 X. Oh. You have to multiply them. The third one now, negative six times negative four. Jude, six times four. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. And negative time negative. Positive. Positive. So it will be positive twenty-four. Now then, what you will do? You will write each term. All the terms here, you write them together. So like negative six x to the four of four plus fifteen x squared minus 18x plus 8x cubic minus 20x plus 24. Let's see now how can we combine them together. Now let's start with negative 6x to the power of 4. Is there any term like negative x to the power of 4? A grade six, do you have? The grade eight, sorry, do you have? What? Do you have another term? Like have x to the power of four? X to the four. X to the power of four, no. Uh, no. So you keep it as negative x, negative six, x to the power of four. Now, then the second power after four is a three. Where is a three? You have to arrive them from the highest to lowest. So you have now eight, Execute. Now, uh, the second one, which one will be? Uh, 15x squared. 15x squared, bravo. Then? Then a, a negative 18. Uh, negative the, 18x. The, the, so they are like terms. Can you can you can you combine them together? Yes. It will be. Negative eighteen x minus twenty x. Which is. Um, 38x, bravo. 38x. And then plus, plus what? 24. 24. Plus 24. Bravo. So here is the final answer. Do you have any question? No, it's easy. Are you finish writing? Yes. Just a second. Okay. Let's go now to the last method here. 
which we use it to multiply the poly polynomials. It's like multiplying the whole numbers in a vertical method. Let's do now these examples here. Before this one, let's do this one first. So what do we have? 2x plus 3 times x squared minus 6x plus 5. As I told you on Monday, you have to write the 10, like how you write the 10th of the two second numbers, then you multiply one by the ones and the ones by the tens and the ones by the hundreds in the whole numbers. Here we have to do the same. You will write x squared minus 6x plus 5. And down here, you will write 2x plus 3. Now then, first, where are the ones? It's 3. You multiply 3 with 5, 3 with negative 6x, and 3 with x squared. So, 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times negative 6x is negative 18x. With 3 times x squared is 3x squared. This is the first step. And after I finished the ones, I have to go now to the tens. 2x with 5, 2x with negative 6x, and 2x with x squared. Now, 2x times 5, 10x. 2x times 6, or negative 6x, it's negative 6x squared. And 2x times x squared, it's 2x cubed. Then, you know that, after that, you have to add. In order to add, we have to add the like terms. Now, 2x cubic, there's no 2x cubic in the green. So you keep it down as 2x cubic. Now, x squared, yes, we have two terms, have a power of x squared, which they are these two terms. So how it will be now? 3 minus 6 is negative 3 x squared. Mm -hmm. Then here we have the same variable with the same power, negative 18 plus 10, which is negative 8, x then plus 15. So the final answer here is 2x cubic minus 3x squared minus 8x plus 15. This is an, the fourth this is the fourth method of multiplying polynomials. You can use it, or you can use the table method. Or since we have here binomial, we can use the distributive method. And any of them will give you the same answer. Do you have any question? No. No, it's easy. OK. Let's solve now this one here. 4a. In 4a, 4a here, we have x plus 3. times x squared minus 4x plus 6. So, Sabine? Mm -hmm. Yes, what do you have to start first here? Here, you have to first thing, um, multiply 3 by 6 and 3 by 4 to 4x and 3 by x to 4 2. Yes, multiply, you mean? Yes. Yeah, 3 times 6. 18. 18. 3 times negative 4x. Uh, uh, negative 12x. Bravo. 3 times x squared. Uh, 3x squared. 3x squared. Thank you. The second one now. x times 6. Oh, yeah. Continue. 
x times 6 will be 6x. 6x. Six, six. Uh, so x times 4x, four, four um, it will be 4x. Now wait. 4x times. We will, uh, four, negative 4x four to the power of 2. Bravo. And? And x times uh, x to the power of 2 to be x to the power of 3. Bravo. Now look at me here. I try to arrange them under each other. That okay. can help me to combine them together easily. Now, x cubic, there's nothing here. So x cubic. 3x squared minus 4x squared. What will be? Answer. Uh, we'll yeah. just, we will add them. Because they are How the same sign. Well, they are the same thing. So it will be. Um, just one. 7 minus x to the power of 4. Negative 7x yeah. to the power negative. of 4. Now be careful. 3 is positive and 4 is negative. So will you add them or subtract them? You mean yes, we'll make it 3x plus minus mm. four, four, uh, just no, 4x. So it will be 3x three three minus, minus, ah, it minus. will be x to the power of 4. Negative. Uh, Wait, mm. it's a bit. 3 plus negative 4. It's like four this. Minus them. And then put a negative. Minus. Negative 1. Graph. So negative x squared. Then negative 12x plus 6x. We'll add them, we'll minus them. So it will be uh, negative 6x. 6x, bravo, plus 18. Eight. Thank you so much. So when you want to multiply, please try to rearrange the terms under each other in order to combine them easily. Thank you so much. Yeah. Any yes? Let me use. Yes, teacher. Yes, let me use. Here we have x squared minus 2x plus 5 multiplied by 3x plus 2. Five multiply 2 is equal to uh, 10. Bravo. And 2 multiplied by negative 2x is um, uh, four, uh, 4x. Negative 4x. Negative 4x. Positive 2 times x squared. Uh, is uh, 2x uh, squared. Bravo, 2x squared. Now then. 3x multiplied by 5 is uh, 15x. 15x. Now I put 15x under 4x because they are like terms. Continue. And 3x multiplied by negative 2x is 6. Negative 6x. Squared. Bravo, let me see. And 3x times x squared. Uh, 3x. Uh, 3x um, with the. Uh, uh, just my L x power of, power of uh, cubic. cubic three. Thank you. Then now, three x cubic plus zero. Three x cubic. Then two minus six. Uh, two, two minus x six four. Minus six four. Four. Negative four. Negative four. X <laughs> then negative four x plus fifteen x. 11x. Bravo, positive. 11x plus 10. 10. Thank you so much, Amis. You're welcome. Did you finish writing? Yes. Okay. Now let's yes, go sir. back to C here. Now, all of us know that when you have 
three numbers. You want to multiply them like three times five times two. What did you do first? You multiply three times five, which is 15. And in the product, you multiply it with two to get 30. This is the way how to multiply three different numbers. Here is the same in the polynomials. But now we have a polynomials. We don't have a numerical numbers. We have x minus 2 to the power of 3. What does it mean? It means, sorry, it means x minus 2 times x minus 2 times x minus 2. So first, we have to multiply x minus 2 times x minus 2. How we multiply them? Let's use the vertical method. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Then x times negative 2 is negative 2x. And x times x is x squared. Then it will be x squared minus 4x plus 4. Is it right? Yes. You multiply them together by the vertical way. You get the product of them was x squared minus 4x plus 4. Then the product of x minus 2 times x minus 2, I will multiply it now with the third x minus 2. Did you get the idea now? Yes, yes. Yeah. Like you multiply 3 times 5 times 2. First of all, you multiply 3 times 5. The product of them, you multiply it by 2. Here is the same. You multiply x minus 2 with x minus 2. The product of them, you multiply it with the third x minus 2. Yes, Pisan. Here, x squared minus 4x plus 4. I want you to multiply it with x minus 2. How it will be? B sun? Negative 2 times 4 is what? Negative 8. Negative 2 times negative 4x. It will be positive. 2 times 4 is 8, so 8x. Teacher, teacher yes. me? Yes, we sign up. Okay. And then, uh, yellow now, negative. Negative 2 times x squared is... Which is? Uh, negative 2. Negative 2x squared. Squared, bravo. Then what do you have to do next? Uh, x times 4 is, Which is? Uh, 4x. Bravo. x times negative 4x. Negative 4x squared. Bravo. And x times x squared. Mm. x squared. Now you have power of 1 and power of 2. You'll add them. Uh, x cubed. Bravo. Then now, here, what are the like terms? Uh, negative 2x minus 4x squared. Bravo. What they are when you combine them together? What did you get? Uh, negative 2x. Uh, negative 2x squared. Why? Negative 2 plus negative 4 will be what? How it will be? Uh, a negative 6x six, six squared. Negative 6x squared. Bravo. You have the same term. You will add them together. Sorry. Then... Uh, two, it will be 12x. 12. 12x 12 minus what? Uh, minus 8. Minus 8. 
Thank you. Sure, I That's think the period have finished. Yeah, yeah. Do you have any question? No, thank you. Teacher. No, it's yeah. easy. Okay, bye-bye. Well, have, nice have a nice day. day. Thank you. Bye. Nice thank you. vacation. Bye.